address you guys directly because uh, over the last day and a half, uh, obviously, there's been all sorts of controversy around uh, the incident that happened in Cambridge with uh, Professor Gates and the police department there. Uh, I actually just had a conversation with uh, Sergeant Jim Crawley, uh, the officer involved. Uh, and uh, I have to tell you that, as I said yesterday, uh, my impression uh, of him was that he was uh, an outstanding police officer uh, and a good man, and that was confirmed in the phone conversation, and I told him that. Um, and I, because uh, this has been ratcheting up, uh, and I obviously uh, helped to contribute ratcheting it up, uh, I want to make clear that in my choice of words, I think I unfortunately uh, then gave an impression uh, that I was maligning the Cambridge Police Department or Sergeant Crawley specifically. Uh, and I could have calibrated those words differently. And I told this to uh, Sergeant Crawley. Uh, I continue to believe, based on what I have heard, that uh, there was an overreaction in uh, pulling Professor Gates uh, out of his home to the station. I also continue to believe, based on what I heard, that uh, Professor Gates probably overreacted as well. Uh, my sense is you've got two good people uh, in a circumstance uh, in which uh, neither of them uh, were able to resolve the incident in the way that it should have been resolved and the way they would have liked it to be resolved. Uh, the fact that it has garnered so much attention, I think, is a testimony to the fact that these are issues that are still very sensitive here in America. Uh, and, uh, you know, so to the extent that my choice of words didn't illuminate, but rather contributed to more media frenzy, I think that was unfortunate. Uh, what I'd like to do then is make sure that everybody steps back for a moment, recognizes that these are two decent people, uh, not extrapolate too much from the facts, but as I said at the press conference, uh, be mindful of the fact that because of our history, because of the difficulties of the past, um, you know, African Americans are sensitive to these issues. And uh, even when you've got a police officer who uh, has a fine track record on racial sensitivity, uh, interactions between police officers and uh, the African-American community can sometimes be fraught with misunderstanding. Um, my hope is, is that as a consequence of this event, uh, this ends up being what's called a teachable moment, where all of us, uh, instead of pumping up the volume, spend a little more time listening to each other uh, and try to focus on how we can generally improve uh, relations between police officers and minority communities, uh, and that instead of flinging accusations, uh, we can uh, all be a little more reflective in terms of what we can do uh, to contribute to uh, more unity. Lord knows we need it right now, uh, because over the last two days, as we've discussed this issue, uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but nobody's been paying much attention to health care. Uh, I will not use this time to spend uh, more words on health care, although I can't guarantee that that will be true next week. Uh, but uh, I just wanted to emphasize that um, one last point I guess I'd make. So there are some who say that as president uh, I shouldn't have stepped into this at all because it's a local issue. Uh, I have to tell you that uh, that thing, that part of it I disagree with. Um, the fact that this has become such a big issue I think is indicative of the fact that you know, uh, race is still a troubling aspect of our society. Uh, whether I were black or white, uh, I think that uh, me commenting on this uh, and hopefully contributing to constructive as opposed to uh, negative uh, understandings about the issue uh, is part of my portfolio. So. Uh, 
at the end of the conversation, there was discussion about uh, uh, my conversation with uh, Sergeant Crawley. There was discussion about uh, he and I uh, and uh, Professor Gates having a beer here in the White House. Uh, we don't know if that's scheduled yet, but um, uh, <laughs> but we may put that together. He also uh, did say uh, he wanted to find out if there was a way of getting the press off his lawn. Uh, I, inf I informed him that uh, I can't get the press off my lawn. <laughs> he pointed out that my lawn is bigger than his lawn. Uh, but if anybody has any connections to the uh, Boston press as well as national press, uh, Sergeant Crawley would be happy for you to stop trampling his grass. All right? Thank you, guys.